for until the law, sin was in the world. You know, there was a time between, from, Abraham, from Adam to Moses where there was no law. But sin is not imputed. There's that word imputed again. Watch this. Sin is not imputed where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even, see, death reigned. Death still was in existence, but there was no law. From Adam to Moses. Death reigned from Adam to Moses even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam who was a type of him who was to come. I don't have time to get into this heavy, but Adam didn't sin like everybody after him. Everybody after Adam sinned with a sin nature that caused them to sin. Adam, his sin was a sin of total rebellion, of high treason, because he didn't have a sin nature. He willingly disobeyed God when he told him to eat of that tree, and he didn't have a sin nature. He had the nature of God in his spirit, and he still chose to disobey God. That was a sin of high treason. And even though he messed up, do you know that God did not impute his sin to him? (laughs) Why? Because he wasn't under law. He was under grace. And this is a powerful statement from the word of God. Sin is not imputed where there's no law. (laughs) Now, listen... Some people think the reason why God kicked Adam out of the garden was to get him out of his presence. It was not. The reason why he kicked Adam out of the garden was to keep him from eating of the tree of the now, excuse me, the tree of life. You remember, he guarded, I mean, God guarded that tree of life, that path to the tree of life. He guarded it with angels and a flaming sword. He didn't want Adam to get anywhere near it. That's why he got, it, got him out of the garden, not to kick him out of his presence because it would have been uh, catastrophic if he would have eaten of the tree of life and God was not going to allow that to happen because if he had partaken, once he, once he ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he died spiritually. And if he was allowed to eat of the tree of life, then he would have lived lived forever, spiritually dead, separated from God with no hope of redemption. So God had to keep man from the tree of life because he had to allow man to die. Death was actually necessary. And because, of, because we die, we get a glorified body. 